Hello and welcome back to another tutorial for our Mega Mansion. Um, so today we're going to be building an indoor gym, which is going to be roughly connected to the um, indoor pool. Um, and this one's going to start out uh, 19 wide, just like the pool, or 17 wide for the inside of the uh, walls, and then 27 deep, which is going to translate to about 25 inside the walls. Um, so I figured I'd try and make a, uh, a smaller tutorial today, seeing as the kitchen took about an hour and a half. This didn't take too long, I guess. So another smaller tutorial this time, um, and it's going to be a much easier build than trying to figure out all of the kitchen work and all that. Um, and basically first, just digging out the floor. Um, I've got some new tricks that I've learned from the powers of YouTube, the knowledge of YouTube, um, on some of the builds we're going to be doing inside of here. Uh, mainly, my favorite one, I think, is the treadmill that I learned how to build for YouTube. Uh, I don't remember which YouTuber it was, I just kind of found it, and so hopefully I can find that out and give that to you guys. because. Um, I watch a little bit of everybody on YouTube, Minecraft, and really everything in general. Um, obviously my favorite creators being people like uh, uh, the old Z1 and only uh, cities and stuff like that. Unfortunately he's no longer uh, sort of not on YouTube anymore. Sometimes he pops back in, but he's not doing Minecraft anymore. He's doing... Uh, his own, I believe, Unity game or something, but, um, him and some other people, Dan Lags, uh, Blue Nerd, all of them, I get inspiration from them. So, first off, we're going to be doing, well, I guess we can do the walls first. Walls are going to be essentially the same in the lower levels, um, but this might be a little bit higher of a ceiling. I think I'm going to go six high with this one. Three, four, five, and six. Okay. And uh, essentially, after you're done with the gym, you can go swimming, or go in the powder room or whatever, um, or to the bathroom over there. But uh, that's not really important how it connects up quite yet. Eventually, I'm going to show you how it connects up, um, and then we're gonna. Once we've got all the all the rooms built out and everything, which we'll have a couple more bedrooms to do. Actually, I don't think we've done any bedrooms yet, but a couple bedrooms to do. Maybe an office space or something. Definitely a garage, and then we'll start actually putting it together. And first, we'll just do. I'll probably do a whole video on actually laying it out in uh, a flat world, and then we'll go over to the city and actually lay it out on the place that it's going to be at, which is one of the sides of the uh, mountainsides, um, which I believe I named Green Ridge, which is a fucking awesome name. Uh, so anyways, the first thing we're going to want to do is kind of put down a rough floor design, which I'm not using that gray wool, we're using this gray wool. The uh, light gray wool is what we're going to be using on the inside of this, essentially. Now, some parts of it will change a little bit. Uh, you know, to put pads in and stuff like that for squat rack, the bench press, um, and a few other things. Uh, why can I all of a sudden not think of the, my, one of my favorite places? Uh, it's where you do deadlift and you do... It is basically just a mat with a barbell on it, but I can't think of the name of the, the other part that mainly people use it for, because you can really deadlift anywhere. Ah, uh, fuck. I'm going to have to think about that, but um, that we might have two different areas for that. Um, and the next thing we're going to be building in the actual city is I'm going to be building, hopefully, some of the interior of the casino is I'm going to do an underground nightclub 
in the casino. Um, but first off, let's do some racks. Um, so I think polished deep slate is what we're going for for the actual racks. Um, so we're going to start back here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And this is just going to be, oh yeah, still haven't fixed that glitch. This is going to be the squat rack. Which you gotta have that at the bottom. Um, that's basically just to catch your, uh, um, your barbell if you happen to fail. So then we're going to do that on each side. And in the middle, we're actually going to use a chain, I believe. Just simply because we don't have an actual iron bar that can go sideways like this. Oh. Ah, well. You get the you get the gist. Essentially, that's for pull-ups and stuff. Uh, no, actually, that's not for pull-ups. That is for pull-ups. Kind of jump onto it and start doing pull-ups. Uh, I wish they would add a bar to the, uh, the game. That would be really useful. Literally, just make this, but instead of the chain look, just all black. That, that would be perfect but they don't, so. Next up, we're going to be using... Um, let's see where it's at. I mean, I guess the barbell could probably be the same as that, but the ends of it would be wither skull heads. So, oh, um... Put it up there? No, probably there. That does not look right. Okay, what if we do this? There we go. So this is going to be our squat rack. Now you would. I can remember which button it is. Okay, there we go. Squat with it. Improper form. You don't want to bend uh, at the waist. But uh, that's our squat rack. Pretty pretty simple design. Um, the only other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of carpet underneath. Um, where the hell is the carpet? There it is. A little bit darker carpet underneath. Oh, not there. Kind of like a, a pad. It helps support your feet a little bit. Um, next to that will be the uh, bench press, actually. It's got the same glitch. I wish that they would fix, but they have not, because, you know, why not? Um, now, how do we want to do this one? Actually, I'll do it like this, and then change it up. The seating, black carpet. go, and then the barbell over top, perfect, alright, alright, that is perfect, there's your bench press, your uh, barbell squats, I wish I could put something there to make it look like... Actually, 
Might be able to. We've changed this up a little bit. Got a top. Oh. Whoops. Then what we'll do is down here we'll put this in. This should make it look pretty good. You can't put those on oh my god. Okay, well whatever. You can do whatever you want for that, but I don't understand. On PC I'd be able to do that, but for some reason I can't there. Uh, next machine we're going to do, uh, so we're going to have ma mostly the machines over here, and then the pads in the middle, and then the treadmills in the back. So next up, we're going to build, let's see, we're going to build this, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, Five, cross that over, and then let this come down all the way to the bottom. Where we'll put a little bit of black concrete, which I never ever use, um, despite for the first scra skyscraper that I ever made, which was off camera, but it wasn't very good. <laughs> um, next. We're gonna do the bench. We'll use that andesite. Oh, no, not that. Yeah, that. And then we need a little bit of web. Where is it at? There it is. Perfect. Nope, nope, not that. Alright. And then the bottom. We'll do this. But we're not done yet. Because we come out. Actually, it's the best course of action here. Yeah, probably that. And this one. Now we'll use the dark oak. Don't need string anymore. And then. Where is it at? We'll use these. That's going to be easy to pick up. Okay. There's that. Alright, so there's that. It's the uh, pull down machine. Or the, the row machine or whatever. And then down here, I didn't plan this last one out, but I think I've got a rough idea on how I want to make it. It's going to be very similar to that, but. That. Hmm. No. Let's not do that. Ooh, what if we did an angle? Oh, actually. Here's an easier one. Literally just this. Perfect. <laughs> Just uh, a regular bench, actually. Alright. That looks about right. Perfect. Actually, we we'll put that in the middle. Oh, I can't. Alright. Well. <laughs> There's that. 
will have probably two pads in the center or something like that. One, two, three, four, five. Black wool. Place. Where is it? There it is. There we go. A little bit of a gap. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. Perfect. So there's most of our gem, and actually, it already looks almost perfect. Um, now towards the end, I would actually like to uh, put up some barbells. So what do we want to do with that? Um, hmm. Do we use light gray? I don't think so. No, we're going to have to. Six across, too deep, too high in the back. We'll do it there, 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 and there. And same pattern up top. And then in the middle chain. Oh, I see. Hold on. There we go. That's a little bit better. These are for the dumbbells. Granted, the uh, dumbbell bench is all the way at the other side, but you know what? Who cares? Who honestly cares? Alright, so there's all that. And now we just need to make a couple treadmills. Um, actually, honestly, got enough room. One, two, three, four, five. We'll just make a couple lanes. Be fine. Now, what do I want to make the lanes out of? I'm thinking some kind of brown terracotta. So it'll give it that haze look. Let's see. Uh, actually, just plain old terracotta. Instead of black carpet. This will be the cardio. Actually, the gym that I use uh, has basically an identical track. It's one sixteenth of a mile, so I end up running quite a few laps on it with my weighted vest. All right, and just cap it off at each end. Alright, there's your indoor gym. <laughs> and that was really quick. That was only 20 minutes. Which is not bad. And then in the middle, right between here, we're going to have a uh, staircase going up. Each step is going to be three wide. There's going to be one divider in the center. 
um, and then two blocks on the outside. So basically, if you're building this the way I'm building it, um, you gotta leave one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven in between the two builds. Um, and when we actually do the build, they're gonna connect just like this as well, because this is gonna be the basement, and the staircase is gonna be here, and behind it is going to be the massive garage. It's gonna connect up and basically be the width of these two combined. Actually, they might have the same width now that I look at it. Um, and it's going to be massive. And then on top of that layer, we'll start putting some of the other builds in. But anyways, thanks for watching. This is a little bit shorter of a video. Um, but, yeah. Short, but sweet. And perfect for the, uh, for the gym. And as usual, we'll be doing the lighting when we actually build the full Mega Mansion. And actually... I had an idea earlier, so essentially with all the ceilings, it's going to be white concrete. Uh, for this water feature, I think it will look best if we do this, because right now it looks like absolute ass. It's horrible looking. That water feature is the worst, but if we do it like this, it'll look a million times better because I'm just going to put the water coming out of the ceiling and then that gets rid of the excess blocks on all sides and all that mm, ugly shit um, obviously you'll have to leave a gap for the staircase and you want probably probably like this actually May as well just all the way same depth as the oh actually one block deeper than the staircase actually runs now oh yeah I was experimenting that episode but this is probably the best course of action just get rid of the gray concrete Of it. One, two, three. One, two, three. That is a much better looking water feature. There we go. That is a perfect looking water feature, and actually, it might even. Do it like this. This might be even better. So, here we go. All the way at the bottom. I don't know which is going to work, so I might grab all three of them. I hope the first two work, because the third way is a pain in the ass. Always this one. This is a pain in the ass to do. Hope this one works. What? Oh. Ah, oh, I see. So I have to place the trap door first. Okay. There we go. Oops. Okay. 
So you got a little bit of an update towards the end on one of the previous builds we did. But that's fine. So now we break this. And it is perfect. That is a water feature. Anyways, thanks for watching. And now you've seen kind of two builds. The uh, indoor gym. And then fixing this one. Which looks a million times better. Oh. There. Yep. A million times better. Now I wish I had this living room. <laughs> Before, I was kind of like, eh, that's not a very good... Oh, I just kicked my computer with my knee. I don't know how you kick with a knee, but oh well. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.